welcome to environmental engineering today we are going to study different cycles in nature so before going to that we will study the energy flow in ecosystem energy is coming from sun as we all know and life on earth is generated in presence of sunlight with help of carbon and moisture and presence of these three happy fights are generated on earth so this is primary life in form of herbs or happy fights these are known as producers so they prepare their food by the photosynthesis as you can see here and energy is stored in form of chemical energy and some energy or heat is released by their body activity into the environment back and then on the coming to the next step there are these are herbivores herbivores are the uh, life a form of life uh, which is feed on this herbs or epiphytes so these are known as herbivores and these are actually vegetarians and these stores their chemical en uh, energy in form of chemical energy and releases some heat by their body activity <coughs> coming to the next step these are called as carnivores carnivores are these are not vegetarians so uh, these are uh, based the, uh, the, 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 the these are feed on these herbivores and they store their energy in their body mass in form of chemical energy and some heat or energy is released into the atmosphere by their body activity and on excretion death or decomposition of these or carnivores and every herbs or every chain is decomposed then heat is released back to the atmosphere so this is the cycle of the energy flow or energy flow diagram into this ecosystem so coming to the next slide as we are seeing here food chain because one categories belonging to other dependent on other for food so you can see here these are called as autotrophs autotrophs or epiphytes these are producers and this vegetation is produced in presence of sunlight carbon and moisture and then you can see here rabbit this feed on this vegetation this is known as primary consumer and primary consumer rabbit this you can see jackal jackal feed on this rabbit and it is called uh, primary carnivore it is known as primary carnivore because it is not vegetarian so on the next step you can see here this is wolf this wolf is feed on this jackal and <coughs> this is known as secondary carnivore <coughs> and you can see at the last this is tiger the tiger is feed on this wolf and it is known as tertiary carnivore so this is chain based one over another now you can see the ecosystem in nature there are many ecosystems uh, due to different environmental conditions there are many different ecosystems you can see worms here this is plant vegetation deer cow and tiger this is also an ecosystem there may be many type of ecosystem you can see now coming to the carbon cycle you can see many cycles in nature such as hydro cycle or many 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 more cycles but you can see the carbon cycle carbon is present in nature and by burning of the organic material it is converted into carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and releases into the atmosphere and from factories or industries it is released in form of carbon dioxide to the environment then this carbon dioxide is consumed by 
plants and trees for photosynthesis preparing their food in presence of sunlight and some of carbon dioxide is dissolved with water rain water and it comes on the earth surface which is known as rainfall acid rainfall so next slide you can see the another carbon cycle here it is next another carbon cycle here you can see now it comes to the epiphytes of the primary life or the producers of energy these epiphytes as you can see on wires these are developed on wires no soil is required but only presence of moisture with carbon the presence of sunlight the life is generated this is the example for this that so now coming to the next cycle which is nitrogen cycle and nitrogen cycle is the biochemical bio, bio geochemical cycle which nitrogen is converted into different uh, materials or compounds in nature and comes back to the atmosphere in form of nitrogen so this is one of slide showing the nitrogen cycle the some plants are taking nitrates ammonia as feed or fertilizer and releasing the nitrogen back to the atmosphere nitrogen in atmosphere by the uh, uh, with the electric electricity the spark of electricity in atmosphere it converts into nitrates nitrogen dioxide or ammonia and coming on earth you can see in this slide same thing this is the nitrogen cycle and after it goes back to the atmosphere so same in this you can see the nitrogen cycle now come to the phosphorus cycle this is another slide for nitrogen cycle now come to the phosphorus cycle this phosphorus is taken by plants eaten by animals now animals are decomposed after that or taken by birds and by their uh, digestion this is coming back to the earth and this is completed a cycle from rocks some phosphates or many minerals are taken as feed by plants and it completes its cycle you can see in another slide here this is also a phosphorus cycle this is completing the cycle and in this slide you can see some terms related to the phosphorus cycle so here it is shown in these the cycles different cycles of nature thank you